Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase or decrease a quantity by a given percentage using a multiplier. Now, there's various ways that we can do example one and two that I'm going to show you next. Okay, you can actually just find 20% of a value and add it on or take it off. But the multiplier trick is really handy for when you have to do reverse percentage problems, which will be examples three and four. So let's have a look at this first of all and get used to this system and this method of doing it. So a computer is costing £600 and it's to have its price increased by 20%. So let's just put that in. Let's draw it as a flow diagram. So it is increased by 20%. And we're trying to work out what is the new price. So we're just going to work out what goes in this box. Now, let's think about the fact that this is 100% and this is adding 20% on. So this would be 120%. And it's this that I want you to focus on, okay? Because we need to think about what that is as a decimal. What are we multiplying by to go from 100% to 120%? Well, it's more than one, so it's one point, and it's 20%, so it's 1.2, okay? So our answer here is just 720. So when I do 600 pounds times by zero, at, times by 1.2, I get 720 pounds, okay? Nice, easy first example. Hopefully the next one's just as easy. So this time we've got an iPhone and it's been reduced in price by 40%. Its original price is 350 US dollars and it's been decreased in price by 40%. So if we think again about this being 100% and if we take 40% off that, that becomes 60%. And again, what we need to think about is this as a decimal. That's what I'm gonna multiply by. So I'm gonna multiply by less than one, okay? It was 0 0.6 in this case. So my answer, 350 multiplied by 0 0.6 is an answer of 210, Ooh, not pounds. Let's try, get, let's try that again, 210 US dollars. Okay, easy as that. All right, so that's using multipliers. Now this is really handy when we have to go backwards. So we might be given say a sale price we have to find the original price. Let's look at a couple of examples like this. So this person has uh, bought some jeans in a sale. So let's just label what's happening. There's a sale, there's the original. And they had 15% off. So let's put that 100% in. Let's take off 15%. So that's 85%. And remember, this is the one that we focus on for the multiplier, okay? Um, the sale price this time is over here, £25.50, okay? What was the multiplier that we used to go from the original to the sale if it becomes 85%? It's less than, it's a decrease, isn't it? So it's less than one, it's 0 0.85 multiplied. I'm trying to work out what went in here. So we have to think about what would be the inverse operation. What's the inverse or the opposite of doing multiplied by 0 0.85? it'll be divided by 0 0.85. And so that's what I need to put into my calculator. So 25 pounds 50 divided by 0 0.85 gives an answer of 30 pounds. Okay, let's go and look at one more example. Example four, a jacket is 245 pounds in the sale. Again, I'm gonna draw this out. So 245 pounds in the sale after a 30% reduction. Okay, so I went from 100% here, took off 30%, became 70%. Okay, again, this is the one that I focus on to find out what the multiplier is, and that would be times by 0 0.7. I'm trying to find out how much the jacket cost before the sale. So what was the original? What was the original price? Okay, and I've got the key to this because I know that the original multiplied by 0 0.7 is 245 pounds. So doing the inverse operation here, dividing by 0 0.7 brings me back to the original. So 245 divided by 0 0.7 gives me an answer of 350 pounds. And that's my final answer. So I hope that that has simplified things and helped you with your work. And if it has, please hit subscribe, leave me a comment. Okay, really appreciated. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.